In this video, we're going to use the Expasi Translate tool to translate a DNA or RNA sequence into a protein sequence. Now, I've placed a link to the Expasi tool in the descriptions at the, uh, the bottom down below. And what the tool does is to read a DNA or an RNA sequence and look for the start codon, which is an ATG. It then continues in triplets of three until it reaches a stop codon. It then reports all of these open reading frames in the output below. Now, to do it, we're going to need a DNA sequence to work with. The one we're going to use in these videos is one from my research. It was from a paper where we created a protein for use in mass spectrometry quantification. And we've got the DNA sequence here. So my question is, where is the open reading frame? So I'm going to go and highlight all of this DNA. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go back to the Translate tool. Here, I'm now going to paste it in, and I want to be able to see on the nucleotide sequence where the open reading frame is, so I've selected this radio button. Now, when I click Translate, the tool reads the open reading frame, looking for the start codon, looking in triplets until it finds a stop codon. It then gives you all the outputs below. So the first frame that it's found is a nice big long one. So this is my protein of interest. And I know it's my protein of interest because when I designed it, I put a 6-histidine tag for later purification. So I've been able to find the open reading frame. I know that it starts A-T-G-C-A-T-T-C-C-T-T. And I also know the stop codon is here, T-G-A. And so the stop is around this location. Now the translate tool also gives you a number of other useful bits of information. If we click on the red M, it will give us the information in what's known as FASTA format. Now FASTA format is a machine readable code. It displays a protein in its single amino acid sequence um, notation and allows other web-based applications or other bi um, analytical applications to read it. So for example, we could submit our DNA or protein sequence to BLAST and find out what our protein is and what its function is. The other tool that I really like is Protein Parameters. If we click on that, what it brings up is a load of useful information about the protein that we can use for later purification and other experiments. So here is the code, the amino acid code for our protein. It's told me there's 150 of them. I have the molecular weight in Daltons, and I also have the theoretical isoelectric point. Now, an isoelectric point tells us what the charge of the protein is. When the pH equals the pi, so in this case, if the pH was 5.52, the protein wouldn't carry any charge. If the, if the pH was more basic than the pi, the protein would be negatively charged. So I would know that if I put this protein in a pH 7 buffer with a pi of 5.5, is going to be negatively charged. The other things we can find out, we can have the formula, but what's really useful is the extinction coefficient. Now, if you know about your Beer-Lambert law, the extinction coefficient is a constant that we use to determine the concentration of our proteins. It has units of moles per centimetre. So one mole in a one centimetre cuvette would have an absorption of 10,095. We can use that information to determine protein concentration. So as a recap then, what I did was I pasted in my translate sequence, my DNA sequence, into this box here. I clicked the translate tool. That gave me my open reading frame. And I used that by clicking on the first amino acid, which is always methionine, to get more information about my protein that I can then use for later analysis.